you're watching Don Sherry Box of Nation. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So just the other day, I reported that uh, Eddie Hearn, he said he would love to match up Canelo against Edgar Belanga. He said it would be, quote, unquote, a massive fight, but he hasn't signed Edgar Belanga. He hasn't even talked to him. He just said it would be a massive fight to match them up against each other. You guys all know Edgar is still a free agent right now since he parted ways with top rank. Uh, he's been taking pictures with Oscar De La Hoya. Maybe he's going to sign with Golden Boy. We'll find out soon. But Berlanga, he just did a recent interview explaining why he's no longer with Top Rank. Or at least he gave us his side of the story. And that the reason, one of the reasons why you guys parted ways is because you wanted your career to go to a certain pace that they didn't feel you were ready for. Um, I want you to address that first. Right now, I'm in a situation where, you know, I want to prove myself. You know, and um, they gave me uh, they gave me an option. You know, it was giving us options that we didn't like. Um, uh, as a fighters, you know, we wanted to fight. Um, we wanted to fight like John, a guy named you know John Ryder. Um, you know, Canelo about to get that fight. <laughs> yeah, and you know, we wanted that fight with him, and you know, his team wanted it. I wanted it. You know, we went. I know you guys seen on social media. I tweeted it out like, yo, let's get the fight going. You know, and it just didn't happen. You know, obviously, you know, I'm out here. To, I want to prove myself that I'm the best. At 168, you know, and obviously it's just taking that that larger step where those type of opponents, you get what I'm saying? You know, I'm in a situation where I feel like I'm ready for that step up, you know, for to get those big fights. First of all, if Berlanga is going to tell us who he wanted to fight, he should have also told us who top rank offered him. He said that they gave him options that he didn't like. We don't know what type of options they gave him. It's really hard for me to believe Berlanga left top rank because they were offering him easier fights and he only wanted a tough fight. It could be very possible that they wanted him to get in the ring with another tough prospect or just another tough opponent who Edgar may have felt was tougher to beat. Maybe Edgar was looking at the options and felt he had a better chance of beating someone like John Ryder, someone who's one dimensional. He's been knocked out before, has multiple losses on his record. That could be the case. And the fact that Top Rank was just willing to let this man, Berlanga, walk away from an obligated contract suggests that Top Rank, they did not want Edgar Berlanga. They felt after his last two performances, he wasn't going anywhere in his career. So they had no problem letting him go. Because I can guarantee you if someone like Keyshawn Davis or Shakur Stevenson just up and wanted to walk away from a Top Rank contract, there would be a major lawsuit filed by Top Rank. So now that Edgar said he left top rank because he wanted a tough fight, let's see if one of Berlanga's stipulations will be, if I sign with you, you have to guarantee me a tough fight up front. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.